Okay, so we're gonna check on our desert tortoises right now. They're in what we call their state of brumation, which is um, a reptile hibernation, basically. It's synonymous with hibernation, so it means the same thing. And they are down in their burrows for the winter. So I'm just opening it up. I'm gonna check the temperature. We like to keep it uh, between 45 and 50. So we've got 48, 49, 50 degrees. That's a great temperature for them. Once it gets too warm, up to 55 or so, they actually start waking up. So we want them to stay in that optimal range. In the wild, what they would do is they would actually burrow down quite far and that would um, keep their temperature very consistent, so that's important for them to kind of stay at a consistent temperature. Okay, so we can see he's pretty sleepy. Um, he does react though when you touch him or bother him, and that's important. That means he's doing well. He's got his self all buried in there. Um, during this time of the year, when it gets cold like this, their body processes will all slow down. They don't come out to eat. They don't come out to drink. And they don't come out to, to do any movement at all to waste any of that energy. They're just maintaining their body um, for the winter. He's a little bit awake. We woke him up a little bit, but that's okay. We're gonna go take his weight really quickly and make sure that he's not losing too much. During the winter, they um, can lose a certain amount, but once it gets to be too much, that can be dangerous for them. And he is over a thousand grams, so that's really good. And um, that's definitely not too much of a weight loss for him. They usually are down in brumation or hibernation from the beginning of November through the beginning of March maybe. Um, we usually start feeding them mid-March, so when it starts to get out and be consistently over 70 degrees is when they are out and about and doing their thing and back up for the year. So we'll go put him back so he can go back to sleep. We don't want him to be awake for too long and stress him out too much. He'll make his way back up to a place that he feels most comfortable as far as the temperature goes. I'm just gonna kind of give him a little bit of dirt there to cover him up a bit. So we've got these nice burrows down here that are underneath of our tortoise exhibit and that lets us um, have access to them when they are actually uh, brumating and double check and make sure that our temperatures stay where we want them to stay. And that's it. We'll see them again in, in March when they come up for, for the year and start eating their, their salads.